Well, South Korea is introducing new curfew measures in Seoul's historic Bukchon Hanok village to curb over tourism. While many do support the move, some residents fear there is, these restrictions could drive away a source of livelihoods. It's a top destination for visitors to South Korea, luring travellers with its traditional houses. But some in Seoul's Bukchon Hanok village say they are victims of over-tourism and now officials are taking action. In November, the area will start a trial curfew to limit the impact of visitors. The village was popularised by a TV show a decade ago and is now facing issues like noise, littering and invasions of privacy. Last year alone, the village attracted around 6 million visitors, while its resident population is only about 6,000. Starting in November, tourists will have restricted access to certain areas from 5pm to 10am with violators facing fines of up to 100,000 Korean won or about $72. The curfew will then officially launch in March 2025. Chung Moon-hun is the mayor of Jongno district where the village is located. He says the local government will work with residents ahead of the official launch. 관광객들이 어느 정도 와도 이게 균형을 잡으면서 균형을 잡으면서 이제 정주권자들이 크게 불편이 없으시면 되는 거니까 주민들이라 그러니까 이제 실행을 해 나가면서 점점 좀그 보완할 건 보완해 나가고 뭐 그러면서 좀 이제 지켜보면서 처음 시작하는 거니만큼. While the local government hopes to protect residents' rights and daily lives, not all residents are convinced it's the right idea. One resident of the capital city says the whole idea is un-Korean. 대한민국은 그 이동의 자유가 있는 그런 나라인데 그런 것을 어, 벌금으로 통제한다는 것은 너무 과한 조치이고 어, 그러기에 앞서서 그 계도를 통해서 Tourists meanwhile are divided over the curfew with some resenting the idea of being fined for walking down a public street while others acknowledge the importance of residents' quality of life. Yeah, I totally agree with that, you know, where um, if uh, tourists are being rude and disrespectful to the residents living here, uh, that shouldn't be allowed. And yeah, there should be protections in place so their peace and sanity is preserved. There are also concerns about enforcement, including how to distinguish tourists from residents, how to ensure foreigners pay fines, and how to address the language barrier.